All right, guys, going over some foot and lower leg love. So this is a place that a lot of tennis players really ignore, and it's the foundation of everything you do. So you gotta make sure that your feet and your lower legs are on board. Even if you don't have pain, what we're about to go through is something you should do nearly every day, especially days that you do play tennis or run. So uh, all we need is a lacrosse ball or a yoga tuna ball. So we start at the feet, and then we'll kind of work our way up towards the knee. Um, the first thing you do, just drop it on the ground here, and I want you to stand. All right, so first place we'll start on the foot. You find the heel, you're gonna drop off right into that soft tissue right off the heel. You'll feel it's usually a little tender. I like to put my toe down here and then scrub back and forth. All right, so you can kind of decide how much weight you wanna put on the ball. Ideally, we'll have at least 50% of your body weight. If you can do more, that's great. We're gonna spend time here. And another good, good place to target is just the arch in general. So on the big side toe of your foot, Going up and down, you can bring your big toe up, that'll increase the tension. Kind of scrubbing in there. And then the third place to really focus is putting the lacrosse ball in the middle of your foot, so like right kind of under the ball of your foot here. Put as much pressure as you're able to tolerate and then go through toes down and toes up. So you should feel a nice stretch in the fascia there. Okay, so accumulating two minutes on the bottom of your foot is the first place to start. So now that we have the bottom of the foot, we're gonna to move to more of like the lower leg area. So, of course, we always think about our calves. You have Achilles tendonitis, a lot of can do with calf tightness. So the best place here to start is the taper of your calves. So where the muscle starts to turn into tendon, there's a little junction right here and that can have a lot of tension in it. So if you kind of pin the ball, you able to see there? You pin the ball, put your other foot on top for a little bit of weight. And then I just want this foot moving Toes to face and toes down. So point your toes, bring them up, point your toes. And that's just giving you a nice little tack and stretch. You can also kind of fish around up in the muscle mass area. Some people are super tight on the inside and you'll find a place like, oh man, I like to call them gold nuggets right there. Or you can be on the lateral side, kind of depending on how you run, you might be really tight on the lateral side. So you can spend some love there. But again, if you find a really, really tense spot, put some pressure there. Move your foot around. Any movement's good. Okay? So that is the calves, so your gas drops. And then another place that you tend to be tight is right here along the inside of your shin bone. You might not, not actually know you're tight here until you start to put pressure, but if you have trouble with shin splints, this is a great place to focus. So if you kind of use your thumbs, you can find your, your shin bone, your tibia here. And then there's this little like drop off where you'll feel kind of like tension and it's just muscle tissue, but it's usually pretty tight. And I like to find the place that's the tightest, put the ball there and just give a little bit of pressure through your hands. And you can self-modulate how much pressure you want to put. So it's just like poor man's soft tissue massage all day. Just put it in here, kind of move around. And anywhere between, you know, right below your knee and before your ankle, all of that's fair game. So anywhere you feel like you have tension, just giving it a little bit of soft tissue love, okay? So that was a lot of information. Go ahead and try it out. We have the bottom of the foot, a few different ways to target that. If you find one area that's more tense than the other, spend more time there, it's perfect. Um, and then you have some calf loves on the back and then also right here on the other side of your shin bone, okay? So all these are super important for tennis players. Go ahead and try all of these out and let us know what you think.